how's it going everybody this is Yamez with Out of Metal Forge saying what up um, I'd kind of like to go over some tongs today uh, you guys see on my channel that I use various different tongs I'm constantly adjusting uh, I prefer a longer nib uh, grip so that I can adjust on the fly for whatever I'm forging gives me plenty of if I need to turn these into bolts bolt jaw tongs you know I can if I have to uh, these are my first fully forged pair of tongs. Um, I'm not excellent at them. I'm not particularly a tool maker just yet. <laughs> uh, still very much a beginner. Um, but as you guys know, when you first start out, and to, to those beginners out there, uh, what I'm going to show you today is a very, very simple way to get a, a pair of tongs so that you can get started with the heating and beating. I know how it is when you first start out, you're excited, you want you want to do everything right now, and oh, tooling, oh my gosh, tooling, you know, it's like having to, oh, I gotta make this so that I can even make this, which I have in my mind, all that stuff. Um, while tong making and hammer making and tool making is a very important aspect of blacksmithing and should be achieved, you know, like you learn that skill. That is something to learn. Don't put it off. Uh, or you'll end up like me. <laughs> um, I remember my first pair of tongs. I was struggling, struggling, struggling. And then I came up with this idea uh, to twist a pair of, uh, a set of stock, a uh, flat stock. Uh, and it worked. Um, I'm going to show you how I do that today. Um, I actually recently just a, a couple days ago was searching for you know kind of researching this idea and I found that uh, Roy over at Christ Centered Ironworks actually has a video dang near exactly the same process that I do if, if not the same um, and that's an amazing thing that uh, I'm sure you've thought of this idea before it's, I'm sure it's not new um, I actually spoke to him about it and he said he saw it in an old uh, issue of Anvil Fire uh, or on their website or something and uh, so it's not a brand new idea it's just something that I saw or that I used and then saw so and I'm gonna pass it on to you guys so hopefully it helps somebody out uh, the idea is to take two flat pieces of stock uh, one piece cut in half or if you don't have tongs to start them keep it long and then forge handles down uh, to give you enough room for the twists and the nibs or grips uh, and then you can cut it in half and then go from there I've already cut it I've marked my centers for where I'm gonna punch out or drill if you don't if you're not comfortable with punching the uh, rivet so I have that all set I'm going to get on that and then I'll move on to the next step and show you what's what.
All right, so what I now have is two pieces that I have drawn uh, the reins down on uh, for the handles. Um, I brought it just a little bit past the eye, the uh, hole for the rivet, and I left plenty to work with uh, in case I want to turn these eventually into bolt jaw tongs or something. Um, now remember, after you twist it, about that much, about an inch and a half to two inches won't be usable. Uh, it'll be part of the uh, functioning part, so uh, you'll see what that is. Uh, so what I will now do is rivet these together with the holes that I punched. Uh, and again, you can drill these, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's supposed to be a quick and, quick and dirty set. So I'm going to grab a rivet and I'm going to rivet these together and get to the next step. And there you go. Simple, easy, very quick. And a very passable, modifiable beginner's set of tongs. Modifiable. Say you want to hold something a bit thicker. Put it in it. Boom. Now you got something that can hold something a little bit thicker. I'm going to modify these again. And all I'm doing is taking and putting it in the press, in the vise. So that it hits the And boom, adjust it again. To do a little bit of tweaking to get it perfect, but it is a good set of tongs. Alrighty, now, does this pair, or this technique, cancel out the other techniques? No, like, these are a good beginner set. Um, with repeated use and constantly changing them, uh, you'll eventually wear that stock down. Um, you don't get the full strength of a forged set of tongs. You can't really get a, you know, as you grip on it, oh, that's hot. As you grip on it, this has a certain bit of flex that regular tongs don't have. Um... 
Are they serviceable? Will they work? Sure. And I recommend you give it a try and uh, knock them out. You know, just a simple pair of twisted tongs. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about them. Um, and uh, I'd like to see if anybody tries to make them. Uh, I think they're fun. And I'll definitely be using these. There you go. A good, usable, adjustable set of beginner tongs. Something uh, you can make pretty much without, with, without any of the major tools or uh, as you're learning. Something for you to quickly use to grab uh, materials to make maybe your next set of tongs and so on and so forth. Uh, thank you all for watching. I truly appreciate it. Uh, if you like what you've seen, uh, throw me a like share the video and uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, truly appreciate this community. Um, if you're interested, I have uh, all sorts of information down below in the uh, description. I've got my Etsy store, I've got my uh, Patreon, my uh, PayPal, my email, my address uh, for sending gifts and items. Uh, some people do. Um, and I have uh, a Teespring store so there's that as well I've got some merch out there uh, I really appreciate you guys thank you for staying tuned to the very end <laughs> and uh, again click that subscribe button and uh, watch a few more of my videos I really appreciate it hearts and health mm -hmm.